lined up, ready for inspection. It's been more than half a century since the Queen reviewed the Canadian Navy here in Halifax Harbour. In waters where Second World War Allied guns lined up against a common enemy, that erstwhile foe offers a salute. In return, the royal wave of approval. Originally designed as a show of military strength in the face of war, the International Fleet Review now fulfills a more ceremonial role. On occasions such as this, the Canadian Navy's centenary. 27 ships are on display from eight countries, including four from the United Kingdom. Fittingly among them, the Royal Navy's flagship, HMS Ark Royal. It was the Queen herself who launched the aircraft carrier nearly 30 years ago. The battleships arraigned in anchor is an image reminiscent of the naval convoys which gathered here during the Second World War before setting off across the Atlantic delivering supplies vital to Britain's fighting capability. The waiting U-boats engaged in the Battle of the Atlantic which would last the duration of the war. Many of the men that you see who are assembled on the jetty today would have served in the crews of the little ships that left this harbour. This, certainly for her Canadian Navy, is an extraordinarily important day. Um, 100 years of service for a country the age of Canada um, it is quite a significant anniversary. Who better then than Canada's Queen to congratulate her Navy on such a distinguished nautical milestone? Paul Harrison, Sky News. Halifax, Nova Scotia.